Spring is a busy season for our garden, and today I'm focusing on three major prep tasks, watering, sun protection, and soil nutrition. Key to success with watering is schedule. Right now, it's raining maybe once a week, and the sun is not quite as hot. So early morning for five minutes should be enough. And I can always compensate with hand watering. Last year, I got this uh, timer on sale for pennies on a dollar, and today I'm going to set it up and test it this season.
sun protection. Before I moved to Texas, mulch was not even a word in my vocabulary. In the south, you must cover the soil to prevent evaporation, overheating, and sunburn. Sunshade also plays an important role. I cover my kettle panels and self-built arches with 50% UV protection. Checking moisture level regularly helps me know if I should hand water. Taking care of the weeds is pretty simple too. I see one, I take it out while it's young and dump it right there in the walkway. Soil nutrition. So compost is a big topic in itself. Dr. Elaine has taught me a lot about soil food web. If you're interested, uh, she has a YouTube channel and they have some amazing content. I've always seen people composting and I knew I will be composting myself, but understanding the microbiology behind it really enhanced uh, my process. I make compost tea, I let food cycler prep the leftovers from my pile, I use bokashi, and I add compost before the season, during planting, and after the harvest. I also use leftover charcoals to spread on my garden beds. They help with the acidity level. Organic is my way to go. Allowing nature to do what it does best is my motto when it comes to compost. Fertilization, feeding is crucial. I add bone meal in the spring and in the fall. As season progresses, I use LAB to spray the plants and compost tea to nourish the soil.